Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and they all have links, so check that out. And if you'd like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see videos when they come out, hit the notification bell. Okay, the things I'm using today are my Revlon blow dryer. It's down in the description. Um, it usually comes with the uh, brush at the end. We take those off. And uh, it has a low cool, no, sorry, high cool, low heat, high heat. So it's pretty cool. It's very easy to use. And this is my master. I get asked about this a lot. This is the um, just master airbrush. It has a dial. It adjusted a little bit, but it doesn't have numbers, so you don't really know. When I've compared this with my big master, it's around 20, 25 PSI. So uh, not high PSIs, but it, it will do everything you need to do. So this is a good one to get. And all right, let's go. Now I keep mine on the floor and I've got carpet. Um, so it's, it, I, it's not, you can hear it, how little. And um, I don't keep it on the table. It's got a little rubber feet, but I don't keep it on the table because I will knock it off. <laughs> I'm just saying, I will knock it off. Okay, what I want to do is take the Revlon and I'm going to put um, a spot in the middle, get it dry, and I'm going to put it some more and get it dry. And then I'm going to put the Fiesta on it. This is pitch black. And then I'm going to put the Fiesta on it. I haven't tried these two together. So we're going to see how they how they do. Now the pitch black I like because it does not spread out too far. You can see there it kind of stopped. I like putting it down first. And I pretty much put pitch black with most of these type pictures because it just adds something to it. I don't know what it is. It just does. You don't have to, but I like it. It's pretty. Of course, in uh, video 121, it's all just pitch black. And the colors that come out in it are awesome. Okay. And we'll put this kind of hopefully over on the side a little bit and get it dried. I don't want it mixing too much, so I want it to dry quickly. And I've got the air kind of making sure it stays over here. Right there. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to need unless I want to put some more of this. All right. Get my airbrush. My alcohol, I've got very little in it. Um, that way it won't splatter. I can put down one or two drops, but it won't just shoot out and give me too much alcohol in there. So, I'm going to put down some drops. And then we'll go kind of fast. One, I'm going to do a card. So I'm not going to really worry about this out here. I want this. And when I go faster, I have those little streaks. When I go really slow, they tend to mix, seems like. And I'm going to do every other petal. Or at least skip some petals. And I am right up on that. I mean, like a half inch above the paper. That'll, that'll, it'll take care of it. My card's going to be small, so it's going to. Now we'll go through and do in between those two. And I'm probably putting down about three drops.
my little guy down there. Seems loud. I wonder if I'm... <laughs> I wonder if I've dropped him too many times. Now, when I had it puddled like there, I come back and hit that again, or it'll just, it'll do like this. And I just keep going until I have filled in all my spaces like that. These last ones I am adding more than three drops. That's pretty interesting. I'm going to do this over here with that a little bolder. Okay. I'm going to get my card thing and I want to show you how this is going to look as a card. Okay. This, the wind is blowing the stuff around, is what I'm going to have. So you can see all this mess around here is not coming into play. But I can scoot it over. I can do a lot of different things with it. Um, you know, turn it upside down, have something like that. I mean, so there's so much you can do. And it was quick and easy. That was fun. Now, here is, in America, we have the number 10, which is a business size envelope. Um, you can cut it to something like that if you wanted. I'm not going to on this one. This is what I'll do. And I can move it around, or I can decide, I really, I really kind of like it like this, but I want some more down here, so I'm gonna put some more. more. Pull that through and fill that in. All right, let's see how that looks. See, that, that turned out pretty good. I like that. So, let's finish up. We'll fill this in a little bit. And 
and I will do some uh, glitter glue in it. I'm going to put some light in it so it'll start, it'll kind of reflect on that color. Now because I didn't spray this with Kmar, you can see this is going to start turning pink and got some blue and it's not going to stay that stark white. And then I'm going to do that dark blue. And even though that may still be wet, it's all right. It's going to mix. Now this isn't going to show up crazy big, but it'll do enough that it's going to be fun. And it's going to show up against that white. And I'm going to leave it kind of, it's, it's pretty thick. I'm going to take my little spot and I'm just going to pull some things. Now wipe your stuff off because it is glue. So, yeah. It just adds a little, a little something. And especially for a card, it's going to add that little extra element to it. Just go something else that they're going to go, oh, look at that. That's cool. All right. And see, that's our card. I don't always like to do them right in the middle. I like to pull them down a little bit. But, yeah, I think there we have it. So that's how you do fast and easy little card. So y'all go have fun.